Hey, hey, this is live on KXP with South Seattle Zone, Rail Be Free, and he brought some of the South End's best talent to KXP Studios. Let's get into it. Than my enemies have. I've been burning down the roof. Cause the ceiling is glass. Fill my with Hennessy fast. I need that energy back. I ain't fishing for the feeling that the sympathy cast. Look, why these brothers talking about they out here selling cocaine? Man, you mess around and they gon' hang you by that gold chain. I done seen the whole game. Once you get a taste of it, you can never hold fame. Trippy stuff is laced with it. Boy, you better pace with it. Before you lose that race with it. I remember we was recording down in that basement. Music wasn't making it. Talent, we was wasting it. Never told the truth, so had that karma, we was facing it. Trying to make a meal and all them dreams, we was chasing them. Freddy versus Jason, them nightmares and masks on. What's your occupation then? I'ma have to blast off something like a space cadet. Gravity is that strong. Hey. I'm just trying to watch the sun rise, shine until the sun dries. You can't catch me tripping off of shrooms, but I'm a fun guy. Wild if I need to, holes that I breathe through and see through. No, I don't need you if you don't believe who I am. I won't ever argue that. Nah, I don't debate with fools. All I do is cast facts. Man, y'all better act fast before you miss this last class. You can tell I pass math. Facts only. Trying to eat just like your contrast is stark i'm like the black tony iron sharpens iron keep a crew of daggers round so we treat the paper like genetics when we pass them down the service wrap around patent style conscious with the blackest style these haters rap like hand-me-downs and class clowns thought you was funny back in junior high they ain't reached potential because they wouldn't even try Killed their own dreams, metaphorical suicide. Brothers went to cop the newest J's, thinking you could fly. And yeah, all guys chilling got wings, but you don't never touch the sky. You don't get them off the tree, my G. I'm just trying to jump from out this nest, break from out the cage, and sing a song up on the stage. I might have to run that fade if you ever try to play me, though. Born in 92, the ladies love me like the 80s, though. Bro, you need to chill, nah, I need to get out more. How I'm even supposed to drop an album with no outro? Shout out to my little homies, always keep your eyes up. Be free, bring the energy until my time's up. One. Got me smiling from ear to ear. Nice job, squad. Uh, that was a song called Facts, released on a project called Energy from 2019. Shout out to Good Water, Darius Ballou, who made that beat. Uh, we're going to go into this next joint called Find a Light with my sister, Talea. Unreleased. Noah Coin Flip. Mead Street. Yeah. South Seattle. Let's go. All of that. All of that. <laughs> Live on KEXP. Hide in plain sight, the light is right in front of me 
Look for what's coming for me, it's self-discovery I ain't gon' lie, cause I have been struggling I've been on my Kobe Calais, tummy bubbly How you supposed to come to your own when you afraid? Fought to pay the cost, you don't even wanna change Turn the page from being ashamed, living in shade How you overcame the pain and you'll never be the same hey, don't wanna change, but you wanna switch lanes Step out of the rain, yeah, you did it your way Now it's time to be yourself, go at a new pace Slow it down, the same yeah, I know that I'll be trifling, spiteful, hella petty If my people trying to fight, I'm down to ready, please forgive me I know that I'll be coming up short She was trying to have a baby, I was trying to uh, Poor sport when I lose, got used and abused Been going for the green, still working for the blues Between me and you, if I really had to choose Wouldn't be up in the pews, too cool for the school I don't know where I'm going, but I'm, I'm trying to find the light, light, light. I know what's wrong with the world, but I'm trying to do right in spite of all the things in my life yeah, uh. I'll keep moving forward I'ma be alright I ain't in the mood today Yeah, I really wanna move, but I choose to stay Need a room or space, cause the room is fake Pay the cost, I'm the boss, like swoon and sway Okay, I ain't really in the mood today Yeah, I really wanna move, but I choose to stay Need a room or space, cause the room is fake Pay the cost, I'm the boss, like swoon and sway Ay. Find the light. Trying to find the light. Yeah, yeah, when I'm trying yeah, to do right. Trying to do right. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, T. Yeah, okay, KXP. Yeah, KXP. Yeah, A little duet. Find the light. Light, light, light. I don't know what's wrong with the world, but I'm trying to do right, right, right in right. spite of all the things in my life. I'll keep moving forward. I'm going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <Delilah>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With I mean, the shout out to Stas the Boss, though. Oh, what? Yes. Oh, already, you know, we do it. KEXP. Putting on vibes. Okay, this is lovely. I'm having fun. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm about to peel off one time. He's delayering, y'all. For y'all in Radio Land. <laughs> He's got a fly Relby tree, Relby free t shirt. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say Relby tree. <laughs> that's, 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 a different, that's a different show. Yeah. <laughs> this is live on KEXP. Yeah, we are. Uh, my man's Pax. Uh, that my DJ. We got some stuff for y'all. I want to yeah, say yeah, a shout yeah. out to uh, KXP, Gabriel Teodros, uh for playing this song. This is the song that's probably been played the most on KXP. Ah. Um, and so I wanted to do that for this session uh, to show love. Um, and also to remind people, do what the hook says. Let's get it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. Check. Why? You know what you owe me. Pay it up or blow me. I can't keep it low key. No, you ain't my homie. If you gotta show me, you gon' have to sway me. All I show is love, and so I wonder why you hate me. Pay the fee. 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 Girl, be free. <laughs> Pay the fee, look, they gon' pay the fee. Rep for the hood and I put it ahead. All of the boom, I'm making it dead. With the government, the punishment. You wanna kill me, they ain't for my dreads. Give me the bread, give me the land. Say you with us, but you sit with the feds. We don't know about that. You ever cap in your ass? Came from the flow from the plateau. All of us spit is a fact so. We had to come to the back though. Represent for my black folk. Represent for indigenous. Y'all can't be serious. This just got me serious like. <laughs> Who talking about gang truces? We hang from the same nooses. I seen the article, the media is translucent. Cause we see through it, never gotta think twice. I might ride tonight, but I just might die tonight. <laughs> Let's live though, do this for my kids though. They say that the truth hurts, I feel like I'm Lizzo. Shout out to them black queens, coming from a black king. Shining in the dark, well I guess it's just a black king. And continue to suffer. That's why it's okay. 
for them to take a knee. No a coin but flip. What really need is for their bosses to pay the fee. Whoa. You know what you owe me, pay it up or blow me I can't keep it low key, no you ain't my homie If you bout to show me, you gon' have to sway me All I show is love and so I wonder why you hate me Pay the fee, I pay the fee You pay the fee, yeah We pay the fee, yeah They pay the fee, pay the fee K-E-X-P, you gon' pay the fee too huh? yep. Y'all about where I'm from? South Seattle to the city, for real, you dig? Yeah, uh. Amish to do Amish, how much do we have in common? Deuce eight to D dub, if we link it up, it's an army. Five station six, I'm like, give me that. A moratorium on rent, I'm like, give me that. I need that South End property, properly. Probably sound transit holding it for profit. See a lot of poverty, contrast with the wealth. And they do hate you, they just do it with some stealth. Like some little looters holding rumors, they shooters from Yesler to Martin Luther. They say pay the fee, and this ain't paying me, it's paying we. That's the only way to be A to Z. And if you ain't make me, you can't hate me. So all you opportunists, sus and sidekicks. One side stupid and the other side rich, keep the climbing. And when the rain fall, don't be crying. We on the high road to Zion, flying. I'm a cancer, but I'm still a lion. Yeah, you know how that go. One more time, yeah. It's for their bosses to pay the fee. Yeah. Say, pay the fee. 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 Yeah. Pay the fee. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Just in case you didn't hear me the first time, know a coin flip. New Street. South End. What up, mama? Yeah. Okay, yeah. vibes, big vibes, big vibes in this room. I uh, got one more joint, and uh, I am, we are, we are celebrating uh, our fifth project together, Noah? Six. Our sixth project together, uh, So What Phase 3, um, is releasing on streaming platforms on April 11th. It's available on Bandcamp now. I'm um, gonna do a song from that album called Free Money. And uh, in the pay the fee fashion, it is also my cash app. <laughs> That's hilarious. Free money is my cash app. I didn't even know that until right now. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. Yeah. Light inside my hand, I had to hold it for a bad day Just in case I ever need receipts like it's tax a tax break. break Ask me, it was good last week I was in the flow and now that it's looking mad deep Like 2020, get my money back Say 2020, get my money back Yeah, say 2020, get my money back I told 2020, get my money back uh, Yeah, 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 yeah yeah, uh, yeah, uh. Talk to him. Look, I'm in the league of Issa, looking for a Lisa. Hope a brother don't go, Eric Benet. Only sweet is the Swisha, lighter to the reefer. Solo dolo is the American way. Cause I could've lost me, could've lost you. No street lights, never had a curfew. Debris from the doomsday, locked in my room. Same block, lights out, still late to the bloom. So it's pedal to the metal, till I'm running on fumes. Fighting with the wind and I'm blowing out the fuse. Pain in my chest, gotta use it as the fuel. Then I empty out the bottle, hit the throttle and Y'all know what the hook is? 2020, get my money back. It's tax season. You know what I'm saying? 2020, get my money back. Say 2020, get my money back. Yeah. Say 2020, get my money back. Yeah. Say 2020, get my money back. I told 2020, get my money back. Yeah. 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 
Hold up. Water I need more of, I think my throat is dry. Got me paranoid, but I'm still the guy. With a pair of eyes, rolling on the seven, trying to get to paradise. Two Tims in the back seat, that's a paradigm. Call the paramedics, give me credit for the noise. When the love fake, it make you wanna stay inside. Confined like I'm fine, I ain't even got a choice. Real yeah. talk, Rel be free, live on KEXP. 2020, give my money back. Man, first of all, thank you for that performance. Thank you for making it here, you know? Thank you, fam. Always. Can you please introduce the crew that you brought to the studio today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go from left to right. Okay. We got the illustrious Talea. Pew, 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 pew. Already. We got Noah Coinflip, who also produced three of those four tracks that we just did. Mm -hmm. uh, we got, oh, I'm about to point to you, Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> we got Gabriel in the house, South End. We got Pax over here, SA Pax, multi-talented for real. We got Worker over here on that thing. <laughs> we got Ron the Don. And of course you got Rel Be Free. I love it. I heard you shout out Mead Street a couple times. Mead Street. We've talked about, we've talked about Mead Street Studios in here Almost every time that a local artist has come through here in the last like few months, I would say Mead Street has come up at some point because there's always some connection. I want to say this is the first time that three of the engineers from the studio are actually in the building. <laughs> so shout out to you, Rel, for bringing the squad. Yeah, they helped me, fam. <laughs> you know, um, can you can you and 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 crew talk about what makes Mead Street Studios special and what that space is. And, and tell us about the local group as well, TLG. TLG. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, y'all want to talk about it? We got other people in here. Yeah, step up to that thing, T. Yeah. Hey, y'all. It's T, Talea. Um, I'm one of the engineers at Mead Street. And honestly, I think anytime someone new comes in the, into the space, I tell them it's just something about the intentionality that people bring into the space mm -hmm. and what they leave in the space. And it just simmers in. It's like a pot of gumbo. Like mm. every time a new person comes in, a new group, a new artist, um, they just leave a little bit of themselves. And that amalgamation of goodness just seeps into the carpet, into the walls, into the mics. Um, we have jam <laughs> sessions, we have gatherings, and it's just so special. Like you can't help but feel the energy when you walk into the space. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. That was a great way to describe it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would I would say it's a it's an epicenter of of South End music and culture at this point. Like it's become that, you know, over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and it's just and I feel like you capture that. I mean, everyone captures it in their music, you know, mm -hmm. so beautifully. Um yeah. but you absolutely capture it in all of your work. Um, yeah. especially the new album, SWP. You got the you got the T L G song on here. Ooh, posse cut. Yeah, <laughs> this is the first posse cut I've heard. With uh, let me see if I'm forgetting anybody. I mean, is everyone in this room on this song? Yeah. I think so. In yeah, addition, in addition to uh, the homies, Fifth House. You know what I mean? Tony Banks and Desert Flower. Shout outs to them. Um, yeah, can you talk about Rel? Can you, can you talk about specifically for you? Um, what? what working in that space has meant for you and your walk, you know what I mean? Because we know each other, like, like full disclosure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rail recorded a whole album in, in my bedroom studio. Oh, that's the foot of your bed. <laughs> yes, before, before, before coming to Mead Street and, and just blossoming. So mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about what the, what the space has meant to you? Yeah, fam. Um, I remember in, you know, it must have been 2017, I was, one of my main prayers was like, I just mm -hmm. want a place where I can go and create. Mm -hmm. You know, I got all these songs and vibes in my heart and my mind. And, you know, I'm tapped in with people. Actually, around that time, I met Pax as well. Mm -hmm. You know, me and Jordan started building and Harvest House has been blossoming ever since as well, too. Um, it was really just like, I just needed somewhere that I can tap in with people. Um, mm -hmm. And I met Sam. I met Worker. Worker. Met, mm -hmm. met the Worker. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Shit. I mean, all of them. <laughs> 
we can edit. <laughs> okay, okay. You, you met you met worker Sam. I met the worker, yeah. um, and we just started cooking, and um, yeah, it just became a safe place mm -hmm. to try things, to you know, kind of sing a little bit, to mm -hmm. rap what was on my heart and my mind. Uh, we started broke speakers, um, and plug, broke speakers plug. plug. Just another connect broke speakers, which is our weekly jam session. Um, it's also a podcast. You can listen to it on Spotify. You can listen to it on SoundCloud. Um, amazing artists from all over the city come through and all over the country, really, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just really like genuine, you know. That's really what the energy is. Mm -hmm. um, and then meeting Noah, we just started to build up a regiment where we're like, "Look, fam, we're about to cook." Yeah. Often. Yeah. <laughs> like we're gonna do this often, um, and it was just reps, you know. And me as a as an artist, I felt like I was still developing my like the skill of recording music. Because mm -hmm. I think when I met Sam, when I even met you, you know, mm -hmm. I could hop on the stage, but I think I was still learning the like the skill of recording music. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that in the last few years, like I've been able to develop that um, because of the brilliant engineers <laughs> and and music minds that are around me. Um, and then also just like the the energy we give to each other is very supportive. Like we want to see each other shine. Um, and even when we're trying new things, it's still supportive. So. Yeah, honestly, I would say environment. I see the worker wants if, to add something. If else. I could point out, uh, Gabriel, you said that there's three of the Mead Street engineers here. There's actually four because Rel is now a Mead Street engineer. Yeah. Yeah. They've, yeah. They've, they've, they've learned oh, that that's skill. That's facts. That's 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 yeah. I was about to play myself down. But <laughs> they've, they've learned how to you know, use all the gear and yeah. uh, you know, make their own stuff and, and work with other people also. So That's, that's, that's a great correction. Thank you, thank you for that, work, Worker Sam. Um, I'm not recording people, by the way. Don't ask me. To <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not on my thing yet. He said, I'm engineering myself. Can, can we talk a little bit about the importance of space in the South End? I know that, uh, Pox, you've actually um, helped open a new space, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Can, can we talk about the importance of space? And, and I'm curious, to actually, to hear from both of y'all about, uh, from, from you, Worker, about, about Mead Street and about almost like the way you opened up the studio to community and, and why that was important for you. And then, and then Pox, after, if you could build on that, like, tell us about your space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so Me Street opened in the fall of 2016. Okay. And, uh, you know, that was a weird time for our country, I mm -hmm. guess. Uh, and uh, I already had like a kind of a, um, conviction, I guess, about like the, you know, the necessity of space, the role of like spaces and communities. Like my theory is that if you make a space, you just need time and community starts to form there, you know? So mm -hmm. whether you cultivate that with intention and try to make something good happen or it just gets like overrun with dudes or something, I don't know, like yeah. um, that's easy for that stuff to happen. So um, yeah, that, that just that, I think that time, made it so much more important to me, like uh, being a white person in the South End mm -hmm. and having a space, it was like, like I felt, uh, you know, I felt called to like do stuff with intention. And uh, I think, you know, Pax with your new space, I mean, you're clearly doing a lot of the same stuff. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think growing up, I just, grew up knowing how important space was like my my house growing up was where all my family came to eat at lunch you know throughout my whole life my mom has a little mexican store where all the community gathers at like mm -hmm. i was pretty much taught by my parents how important space is and being in mead street i understood how for the first time how art can really like manifest itself mm -hmm. and the importance of just needing more space That's like right. As magical as Mean Street is, there's so much talent in South Seattle, like in Seattle in general, but I don't specifically talk about South Seattle because I don't go north of Cap Hill. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just the importance of having space and having the freedom to just try anything out yeah. and learning how what comes of that, you know, just blossoming from trying things. And before mm -hmm. being at Mean Street, I never... I would pay for studio time and then feel pressured to like do something, you know what I'm saying? I never had a space to like, all right, let me let me just enhance any ability that I've thought about, you know, and and be open to maybe be making mistakes and stuff like that. So that's kind of how it came about. Uh, El Grotto Pioneer Square. Yeah. That's more of like a art community space, event space, mm. um, rehearsal space for folks, mm. um, really for the community that was built 
directly from Meath Street. It's the same right. people, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. That's beautiful. I feel like that ties perfectly into uh, to the content in uh, Rail in one of the songs you perform today. I was wondering for for listeners who may be hearing Pay the Fee for the first time today that don't understand the context behind that, because I know that comes from that comes from community movement. You know, um, can, can, can you talk about like help us contextualize Pay the Fee for people that don't know? Um, yeah, for real. Uh, pay the Fee. Uh, well, there's there's a lot of context to like that yeah. song in particular. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's like hella context to that song, um, and also the project that came from it. But you know, we were all alive in 2020, mm-hmm. and um, folks that know me, I'm an organizer. I've been a part of street organizing and movements like before um, 2020, um, and that was just something that was a part of you know how my 20s for real, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but 2020 had a different kind of energy because then we started seeing people flooding the streets. And, and this like different kind of interest. And honestly, in Seattle, there's hella white people in the streets. And there came a point where an organized me was like, okay, mm-hmm. we're not necessarily making this space for y'all to come through, but how do we still like push our messages and appreciate that people are putting sometimes their body and their, their health on the line? Mm-hmm. It was in the middle of a pandemic. Pay the Fee came about um, because I had did this performance in the CD and I got a song called South um, and I had did it. And shout out to, you know, uh, bro, Y King. And he was like, bro, you got to do a song that's like, you know, kind of just like kind of elevating the, the unification of the South End and the CD more. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, I feel that. Everybody that knows me knows I'm about that for real. Mm-hmm. So I pulled up on Noah. Uh, we had already the week before we made three songs in one day from uh, that wound up being the project PTFD. Um, I pulled up and I was like, yo, bro, okay, I got this idea for the song. Um, I remember the first thing we did was uh, I was like, pay the fee, pay the fee, <laughs> and it's in there. pay the fee. And then Noah recorded that, boom, boom, and then yeah. the next thing you know, it just right turned. <laughs> then, yeah. then we made that joint. Um, and so the song's really about, you know, reparations, paying it forward, put your money where your mouth is. I don't want to hear the lip service. And we're in a city that is a whole bunch of lip service. You know what I'm saying? And it also, for people that don't know, it was also a rallying cry mm-hmm. from folks like Y King in the Central District about reclaiming space mm-hmm. in a traditionally black neighborhood. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, also, I, I want to further contextualize this for people that might not be from Seattle. We're talking a lot about specific neighborhoods, right? The Central District. And the South End. And the South End. Can you talk about why that distinction is important for you? Yeah. Uh, to me, those are the only two parts of Seattle that really, like, I care about. So I'm going to keep it a stack. But I why? Care, yeah. yeah. So my mom grew up in Yesler Terrace. Uh, she's from the city, grew up in the Central District. And that's historically where our community is, African-Americans, black folk. Um, and in Seattle, that's where our roots are, have mm-hmm. been at least since the, you know, 60s. Um, and then the South End was the secondary space that we moved to um, mm-hmm. and historically for the last like 20, 30 years has been a part of our community as well. Um, and so that's why I do talk about them together because mm-hmm. even though I got raised in the South End, I got mad love for the South End. Like I can't not acknowledge the fact that my mom grew up in the city and all, I mean, this, and when it's, in Seattle, I mean, it's what, it's a 10 minute drive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Five minutes, you go from Franklin to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The Safeway and the neighborhoods transition. Um, but for me, those are the two places that make up Seattle. That's where my people are, that's where my youngins are, that's where my family is. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's where the culture comes from. That's right. The flyest people to represent and talk about (laughs) Seattle come from the CD and South, period. Mm -hmm. And there may be some outliers. (laughs) Because shout out to Renton. You know, I mess with Renton, too. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I consider it part of the South then, like extended, you know? They may take offense to that. Okay, sorry. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go that far. Well, it's, com- like, it's coming, shout out to Rick it's coming from a place of love. So. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, and just the Northwest in general, Tacoma, Word. you know what I'm saying? There's parts of West Seattle that got folk, you know? There's absolutely. even parts of Lake City, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's not really, I'm clearly not like out here on gangbang stuff, right. but I grew up in a neighborhood where that was, that's when you say you're from the South and that's what it's meaning. So I do try to like address that as well for people to say, you know, when you're saying you're from somewhere, that's a different context mm-hmm. than being raised from somewhere. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and I, I keep it a stack where, with who I am for real. Yeah. And and I, and I asked I asked for you to explain that because I, too, you know, represent the South End very hard. People that listen to the radio probably hear me shout it out all the time. Um, and it's for a reason. I feel like when you when you do come from the South End or even the Central District in Seattle, like historically, 
you grow up feeling like you've kind of got a chip on your shoulder because it feels like the rest of the city doesn't care about you. It doesn't care if you survive. So it becomes extra, extra important to represent everything that is beautiful about where you come from. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, it's one of my favorite yeah. things about your music and about your walk and about how you are in the world, you know? So, yeah, people don't know one thing about me. Yeah. <laughs> they know where I'm from for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I want that to be like a part of, I mean, that is a part of South End culture. Like, mm -hmm. It's and similar in life. You go to Oakland. Ever been to Oakland, bro? People they wear Oakland shirts. They wear Oakland hats. Like they love where they're from. Mm -hmm. And that's similar, you know. People from the city, like they rep, you yeah. know, their neighborhood. And it's supposed to be like that. We have invisible lines in our city, though. That I feel like people from outside and eats. A lot of people in Seattle don't even know that those lines exist. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is one important thing we need to talk about, which is the music itself. You know, because yeah. <laughs> because you've you've made a transition. Um, I feel like away from away from sampling records, you know, there's still plenty of choice samples in your music, I feel like. But a lot of times you're sampling speeches, you're sampling organizers, you're sampling friends, you know, talking. But the music is very organic. And I know Noah is behind a lot of it. You're playing how many instruments like in here on these songs, you know. Let's talk about that. Coy Flip. Noah coin flip Dude, right here. Hi. Hello. Um, yeah, totally just um, playing. You know, Mead Street is very well equipped with instruments and very easy to, as um, somebody who didn't, I didn't come from like a super traditional instrumentalist background. Mm -hmm. It's super easy set up there to kind of make good use of all the equipment there, like keys and guitars and drums, and which we all which all gets used to produce this guy's music and yeah. all the other great artists that come out of Me Street. Hey, I love it. How's, mm -hmm. how's that transition for you, Rail, working from, mm -hmm. you know? Well, you know, like, I'm trying to, so when me and Luna God started cooking mm -hmm. in, like, 2015, 2016, my, my intro to music was just live stuff. It was just okay. live bands. Like, it was literally, I didn't record music for maybe, like, four years was just doing freestyling on people making live music. And then uh, Luna God, shout out to Luna God, we started cooking. And sometimes we use samples, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, why, why do we need a sample when there's no a coin flip? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we don't even need that many yeah. samples, but shout out to sampling, because folks like Dre um, out in Renton uh, are amazing at sampling, and Dre is somebody else that like I just want to shout out and work with as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a workflow thing, for yeah. sure. You know, like our work, well, I feel like me and Rel made a, a like a decision about two years ago to just be like, hey, we're going to lock in a couple days a week, for, and we have for two or three years just making music, just putting in hours mm -hmm. on building craft and building music and yeah I think that definitely it's like we've developed like our workflow where kind of sampling isn't really incorporated where but it's not like you know no, no shade to sampling in fact the <laughs> most recent song we made we sampled ourselves yep. oh, yeah yeah right. so we actually just went back and we sampled the song garden off of so well that's true <laughs> yeah, we so yeah we do yeah, definitely do sampling that's um, but when we got the access to the instruments and y'all heard the worker getting down on that viola yeah. you know what i'm saying like it just it, it creates a different opportunity yeah you know mm -hmm. it sounds so good you know it sounds so good how many albums do you have at this point uh, so albums, do you count EPs? EPs, pro Does like collected projects? bodies of work. Do you include mixtapes? Let's go for it. Include mixtapes? Okay. Um, <laughs> Super Predator EP. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, free mixtape volume one. Okay. Hey. Super Predator EP. Um, and then New Growth. Um, Energy. Mm -hmm. Free mixtape volume two. So what? PTFD. Mm -hmm. So what phase two, Soledad, uh, and then now so what phase three. This guy right here. Yeah. Since 2017, by the way. Since 2017. <laughs> Prolific. I just, for people whose introduction this is to Rail Be Free, I just want them to know how much of a body of work there is to go go back and listen to. And, and, and it's different vibes from project to project. Um, we got to wrap this up, but Rail... I want to thank you. I want to thank everyone for for coming through, sharing your energy, your 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 voice, your music, your words, your wisdom. 
uh, here with us on KXP. Um, I have one final question, though, for you, Rail, which is what what do you hope people get from your music more than anything else? Hmm. That's a good question, G. You know, I, I don't know if I I don't know if it's that I don't ponder on that, mm. but. I, I really try to make stuff like so from in, inside of myself that like I, I don't want to connect it to how it will land with people, but I do wonder how it lands with people. I, I want people to be inspired for themselves. Mm -hmm. Not like I don't want people to see me and be like, oh, Jarrell's so cool. Like, I love Jarrell. Like, look at his style. Like, eh, it's not really about that. It's more like I hope that people hear stuff and they're like, oh, I can oh, he's trying this, I can do this, I can try this, you know? Like, that that doesn't bother me that people hear me do something and it makes them feel energized or activated. Like, I, I want that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, and it, it kind of feels like a cypher. Like, if I'm in a cypher and I rap a verse, I'm not necessarily trying to be better than everybody, but I'm going to spit something that, I'm a, when I pass the mic to you, you'll either be energized or you're going to be rattled. Yeah. <laughs> to take, you're either going to be energized to take the mic yeah. and you're going to keep and you're going to vibe off of me or you're going to put the mic down and you're not going to want to go after me. There you go. Yeah. Shout out to the team. That's just one thing I want to say as well. Yeah. Um, you know, real be free. Me street, by the way. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I got a team fam and folks have supported me from day one. And, you know, before I was in music, I always talked about the village that mm -hmm. raised me. You know what I'm saying? My family, my loved ones in the city, uh, and that's still true today when it comes to the music. That's right. Real Be Free, he's live on KSP. Thank y'all so much. Keep that. We did it. <laughs> he said keep that. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.